वेलकम बैक गाइज आई एम हेयर विद यू टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ सी एस आई आर नेट जून टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक रियल एनालिसिस सो लेट इज फर्स्टली रीड दिस क्वेश्चन लेट एफ एन एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन टू द पावर एक्स टू द पावर वन बाई एन सो दिस इज अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ फंक्शन फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंगिंग टू जीरो टू वन देन योर क्वेश्चन से इज लिमिट एफ एन एक्स एग्जिस्ट फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंगिंग टू जीरो वन Second one says limit f n x defines a continuous function on zero to one. Third one says f n converges uniformly on zero to one. And fourth one says limit f n x is equal to zero for all x is equal to x belonging to zero to one. Okay. So firstly, what I am going to do, I will firstly calculate the point-wise limit for this given sequence of function. Okay. So you are given with a sequence of function like this. x to the power one over n for all x belonging to zero to one. Okay, one important thing to notice here firstly that f n x is actually a sequence of continuous function. Okay, f n x is because what is what is f n x? f n x is first or when when n is one, you will get x as your answer. Then you will get root x. Then you will get cube root of x, and like this. And you are on the positive domain. Okay, zero to one. Since you are on the positive domain, zero to one. Therefore, this function of sequence of function is actually continuous. You are getting my point. So this is important thing to notice here that f n x is a sequence of continuous functions. You are getting my point. Now C. You need to firstly calculate the point-wise limit. Okay, so you have the domain zero to one. Okay, so at x is equal to zero, let us determine what is your sequence. So at x is equal to zero, that means f n of zero. What you have? You have zero to the power one by n. Now zero to the power one by n for every fixed n belonging to natural number, you will get zero as your answer. Okay. Now let us suppose. You have x a non-zero element. Then let us. Then what you what will happen? You will get x one over n. Then okay, that x is non-zero since. Now, as n goes to infinity, in the above case, in the above case, as as n goes to infinity, since this is a function of this is a sequence of zero function, right? This is a sequence of zero function. So as n goes to infinity, this still goes to zero. So that means f is equal to zero in this case. F is the limiting function. Now in this case, as n goes to infinity, you you are you have this num. Okay. Now since your x belonging to zero one and it is non-zero, so as n goes to infinity, what you will have? You will have this will imply one by n goes to zero. You are getting my point. So that means This one by n will be zero at infinity, and since x is a non-zero number, so what you will get, you will get f is equal to one as your limiting function in this case. You are getting my point? So I will directly write your limiting function. Okay, I will erase everything. Now I will write your limiting function. Your limiting function, that is point-wise limiting function, is actually zero and one. If x is zero, if x is non-zero, and you are inside that domain, okay. I am not taking x non-zero everywhere. Inside that domain, x non-zero. So this is your limiting function. So your first option says limit n goes to infinity exists for all x. That means you you are taking a fixed x and then you are calculating your limit. So it exists, okay. So it's correct. Now let us come back for the second one. Second one says limit n goes to infinity. Defines a continuous function on zero one. Okay, so it says it defines a continuous function. Now you see what is your graph. You are working on zero to one. Okay, so if x is non-zero, then you are getting one as your answer. Let us say this is y is equal to one. So here, up to here, you are getting one as your answer, but it's not touching. Okay, I will just erase this thing. It's slightly converging towards zero. 
toward this point now you put x is equal to 0 you you are getting 0 as your answer you are getting my point so i will mark this with black okay so this is your function so you see your given fx is not continuous where where it is not continuous at 0 so limit n goes to okay what is the meaning of limit n goes to infinity fn x this means fx so limit n goes to infinity is equal to fx which is not continuous at 0 so it says it's continuous at 0 on on the whole interval not at 0 on the whole interval it is continuous but it's not continuous at 0 therefore this option is wrong now come back for the third one third one says fn converges uniformly on 0 1 it says fn converges uniformly on 0 1 okay so i am going to show you one of the most important theorem or you can say result regarding uniform convergence okay so this theorem is known as continuous limit theorem okay what it says it says if fn be a sequence of function defined on a set okay let us say a is a is your 0 1 so they are defining fn on a that converges uniformly on a to f then it says if fn converges what is the meaning of all of these that if fn converges to f uniformly on a and if each fn is continuous then f is continuous at c2 so suppose fn is continuous at c then f is continuous at c2 you are getting my point now let us see what your option is saying it's saying fn converges uniformly on 0 1 okay i'm doing your third option now suppose fn goes to f uniformly let us suppose okay now you you notice earlier that fn is a sequence of continuous function you have already noticed that now since okay you have assumed this now since fn is continuous at 0 so according to this continuous limit theorem if fn goes to f uniformly on a then it means if it is continuous at c then it is f is also continuous at c this will imply f is continuous at 0 which is a contradiction because right now you have proved that f is not continuous at 0 so therefore third option is incorrect okay now coming back for the fourth one it says limit n goes to infinity f n x is equal to 0 for all x belonging to 0 1 but you know already know that it's not 0 okay everywhere it's not 0 therefore fourth one is also incorrect okay so this is very important theorem okay regarding uniform convergence you will study if you are if you have studied uniform convergence topic from real analysis then you must have done this theorem in your course okay so thank you guys